Hello everybody, welcome to the Couch UK. Today is a very special day, I'm really excited because it's a box day and I'm gonna tear into this box. This was a spontaneous buy. Um, I had a knife but I already had a failed one take at this and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open it for you. I have not revealed what's in the box yet. Now before I get into this box, I, I, I fell down a rabbit hole of the bootleg uh, Godzilla stuff um, from the 80s. Um, I know a lot of you guys had the Imperial 1985 Godzilla, the big one and the little guy, and uh, I have that too, but there is also some Hong Kong bootleg Godzilla toys um, that are really gnarly colors, and they look really, really like Godzilla even more than the Imperial ones that were licensed by Toho. These were not licensed by Toho at all. At all. They're bootleg figures. So, and I wanted to get them because I've never had one, never held one in my hands. These are Hong Kong bootleg Godzilla knockoff figures. And uh, this is the first one. I'm excited. Whew. Oh, wow. Halloween Godzilla, right? He's even got matching duck bubble wrap. The girth of him is really, really gnarly. Never held one in my hands. Well, well, it's the loose fittings there, but that's fine. I don't know what side he looks better on. That's about where he's balanced. A lot of you guys like ask about how to balance your figures. I'm not trying to sound pompous or like a little prick or nothing, but um, you have to kind of move your legs and stuff, especially with these older figures. Um, you have to move their legs around and stuff. This is the uh, Imperial um, size, and man, like the Hong Kong knockoff version is way freaking cooler in my opinion. Um, than this one. Now my family dog got a hold of this one, so he's not intentionally flipping you the bird there, but he, he, you know, that's how he ended up. That's how Sethosaurus Rex's <laughs> Imperial uh, Childhood Godzilla ended up. But, God, this guy's freaking cool. Like black and orange Godzilla. Straight up Halloween Godzilla. Look down that back. And I'm surprised at how, again, how heavy these, these are. Now there are some Mexican variants. See the feet, have no markings at all, nothing. Just nothing. No stamp, no nothing. And I, I presume that these were uh, made during the 80s and the 90s. Um, yeah, he's really freaking cool. Really like it. Really neat. There's another one in here. All right. Yeah. Oh man, really? I mean, it's so crazy that these things have such a good, like, ah, they just take me. This is crazy. What a crazy knockoff. This is totally Godzilla. And he's leaning and he's kind of like, I need to take a blow dryer to him, actually. I wasn't having a bad reaction there. I scared my camera guy. Oh, he needs to be repaired. His fin. His fin here is about to fall off. That happens in your kaiju hunting. To be repaired. See that? See that, Benjamin? Mm hmm. Yeah. A little super glue will fix that. And he is leaning. Ooh. He needs to be pushed out. Be careful with this guy. Get this little guy out of the way here. So, this is a Hong Kong bootleg Godzilla 2 from the 80s and everything. Again, you have to talk to a Bosch Zilla and Chance Priest. Um, they led me down this uh, rabbit hole of this old stuff. Like, he even has the ears of Godzilla. He has the trademark ears of Godzilla. He looks like Godzilla all over. Got the three rows of spines. And I get and like the face. Well, look at that. Okay, so this is the big boy Imperial. This is the licensed Toho to the I always say the wrong side. This is my right hand side. Uh, this is the old Imperial. And gosh. Uh, the knockoff looks a lot better. I mean, like, look at the face and like the detail and stuff in it, comparatively. Let's see this guy up close. He's definitely more kiddish, you know? Now this is the only guy, these are the two Godzilla figures that I grew up with over here, right here. This guy and this guy. And that was basically it. And I had a, another big, a lot of dinosaurs and stuff. But anyway, this is uh, the lot here. Uh, Hong Kong Godzilla knockoffs. I never thought I would get one and man they have really surged in popularity um, Yeah, they really surged in popularity and uh, people want them now 
Got a big hand there. I mean, they're just fun. It's a fun figure. It's a fun toy. And he is leaning and everything, but like, I can totally fix that. You know? Um, yeah. It's strange how just like two knockoff figures give me that much of a rush and enjoy just like an X plus figure or something. That's another thing I wanted to tell you guys. Wow, he's got blue fins too. Look at that. He's got blue fins, man. And that was spray. That was original spray. And you guys are just probably like, oh, I've seen that thing, but I've never seen one of these in person. He's spectacular. He is. Has he got a marking, Ben? Mm -mm. No marking. Nope. No marking. No marking. No, not even a, made in China. Uh uh. Oh, he's barely got it. There it is. Oh, does he? Yeah, barely, barely, barely. Get it right there. You see it? Yep. Barely. Like it's made. I mean, it don't mean anything. So to give you an example, okay, this one is a straight up licensed figure. It's the uh, Toho. And the Imperial. You know, on him, and he was, he was, he used to have a um, tag that came around his neck, and he had a tag that came around his neck, and he also came in a blister pack, um, too. So, uh, man, he's gonna get over. He's in rough, he's in rough condition. I'm not bitching too hard, but this guy's, this guy's rough. I might have to like put some, you know, some uh, attention to him, but I, I dig him. A blow dryer and a little dry brush and a little super glue you'll be good buddy all right guys all right well that concludes the video of the uh, orange Hong Kong Halloween Godzilla I freaking love these by the way <laughs> god he's so freaking cool and the Hong Kong uh, Godzilla some people, some people call these the Dorme Godzillas but that's not too true Dorme, I really got to get that fan. Yeah. Anyway, these are fun. Some some people call them the Do the Dorme freaking French guy. They made this dinosaur figure. It kind of looks like Godzilla, but it doesn't have the three rows of fans. For me, it has to have the three freaking rows of fans to be Godzilla. You know what I mean? So, yeah, they look cool, man. Yeah, they makes me happy. All right. Everybody hit the like button. Everybody hit the uh, subscribe button if you hadn't already. I'm really trying to make it to 150 subscribers before summertime would make me really happy. Um, leave a comment. Talk about favorite movies, whatever. Um, love everybody. And uh, everybody, uh, take care. Thanks. See ya.